Right, hi everyone, back for another unboxing today. Uh, we've got a load of Fender Custom Shop guitars that have just arrived. I've got Jack with me to help me today. We've Hello, not folks. done a, uh, a dual unboxing in, uh, in a fair while, have we've we? We've not been this close to each other no, for about 18 months. No, that is true. Um, that is very true. Didn't you do this already, Fender Custom Shop? Last week? Last week, yeah. We've got another... Um, there's even more. Smattering. There's well, even more. What's, what's, what's a bigger amount than a smattering? Um, Think of a good word, Jack. Well, it's kind of a... It's just a... A tribe? It could be a, could tribe, be a tribe. A solid hall of... A solid um, hall, there you go. Well, more words will fly about as we go, I should yeah. think. But, um, and then we'll get corrected in the comments. See that doesn't inside. mean that. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll start it already. Right, let's get going. I know this is all that anyone cares about, so let's, let's just go on. Inside. Yeah. Johnny Thesaurus. First up is okay. a nice Ooh. blue telly. It's very nice. Why don't indeed. you uh, plonk that on there, Jack? Yeah, Have okay. a little uh, show it up to the camera, and I'll get some 50, specs. 51, 52. Well, it says Telecaster, so you'd think it'd be 52 onwards, but let's have a little look. I have been caught out before. Well, it says it's a 51 telly, so kind of like a transition type. So it's an ash body, aged Lake Placid Blue, hand-wound 51 Blackguard pickups, 9.5 radius. Uh, what have we got? It's very lightweight as well, Yeah. I'll point out. There was uh, a matching Sherwood Green, wasn't there, last time? That's right, yeah. So I think this is pretty similar to that one. So this is 6105 frets, uh, 9.5 radius, as I said. And it's got the uh, 10 to 50, uh, 1056V profile on the neck as well. So a little um, bit different to what you normally get on a telly from that yeah, sort of era. Yeah, very comfortable neck. It's not hugely baseball batty. And what's the, the relicking uh, job on this? Do you know, is it, it looks know, a little so bit more Just than standard a, relic. Okay. So maybe a touch more than a closet classic or something yeah. would be, but it's yeah. not. It's really the next step heavy. up from um, Journeyman. Yes. Really. Yeah. And are we doing serial numbers? Do a serial yeah, number. So this is R one one two six three zero. If anyone's interested in that, though, that's a bit of a standout colour. Yeah. So it'll be obvious anyway on the website. It's really the um, the Gibson unboxings where you get into the, the realms of ten True. or twelve different bursts and yeah. customers want specific yeah. ones, don't uh, they? So. Do you want this one, Joel? Okay. You can do some heavy lifting now. Thank you very much. Jack. All right, yeah. So we're we going uh, strat or telly? What do you think? Um, I'm thinking telly. Okay. But I've been wrong many times in unboxings before. So. Yeah, there he you go. He was wrong again. Got 100% rate so far. Hand it over. Why don't you do a bit of speckage? Okay. So the serial number of this one is CZ553425. It's a limited 57 strat, journeyman relic. Um, what are we looking at? I'm not used to reading these, John, so you might have to help I'll me. I'll help ahead. you. 57 soft V neck shape, and then nine and a half inch radius. Where are the pickups on here? Pickups here. So, yeah, hand wound fat 50s. All the way, fat 50s yeah. in every position. Yeah. That's a nice sounding pickup. It is. I like it. Uh, Alder body as well, which is a, a really nice combination, I think. Alder body with a maple neck. For me, you get a kind of best of both worlds. Uh, good all-round strat sound. Yeah, and wh what was the kind of weight of that? Did you get it? I'd say it's a fairly, um, not super duper light, but I don't really like them, you know, that light on a, on a, on a strat. But yeah, it's not fair the weight, but it's not, it's not heavy either. So, yeah. and I'm kind of glad to see this return to more of a 50s spec a little bit more frequently because mm. we've seen a lot of 60s, and they're very good. But the maple neck strap does give you something different yeah. than the than, than most of Yeah, definitely with that older body combination. And I don't well. know if you'll pick this up on this shot, but there's a lot of interesting sort of grain on the fingerboard of that one. It's got a nice, it's almost like a bird's eye, but uh, a little bit more sort of dirty, dirty birdie. Dirt and bird. nice comfortable uh, standing off on the back of the neck there as well. Very good, very good. Small amounts of rust. Yes. I don't think that we've seen anything so far that will upset anybody. Well, no, nothing too, uh, not, nothing too uh, uh, upsetting there. Not or yet, anyway. But, you know, Thank you. this is the interweb. Next. <clears throat> oh. Now you're talking. I like that. All right, turn it, hand is it over to uh, you. I think, I've got a feeling this is gonna be similar specs to that last uh, late placid one we had. If I'd seen this a few years ago, 
I would have uh, you'd have bought it absolutely snapped that up because red red tellies with maple necks have long been a yeah. favourite thing well you need to go to spec savers mate because that's not, uh, aged candy tangerine red, there you go <laughs> it's orange I like metal reds yeah metal red which well, kind of candy apple red ish same spec as that blue yeah, one yeah it is yeah so it is a hand wound black guard pickups uh, ash body with that V profile neck 9.5 radius uh, and the 1056 V profile 6105 frets I do like the relicant job on these because it's just enough it's not too much yeah well you can really see with these metallic finishes as well it's hard to see on the camera there but you can really get, see the lacquer checking yeah uh, really well uh, and you can see something like the, uh, the gold undercoat there as well yeah if I just flip it on its side you can see hopefully you can see anyway down the side here there's these nice little running marks all the way also, that looks really good in some lights you can see the grain as well so it's a really thin yeah. finish really thin really nice that's i'm gonna say that's my favorite so far good call i think <laughs> i'm in agreement there for with you good stuff serial number before yeah, i forget sorry number. uh r112359 all right very good so it's been a load of tweeds so far have we got yeah, anything oh. else we've got a brown case to go funny you should mention that thank you all right as if by magic Oh, Ooh. that's very nice indeed. Very cool. Gold hardware. Is it my turn something? to spec, yeah. or do you want to spec? Yeah, you, you, um, yeah, go on. You, you spec. Okay, I'll hold. Gold hardware. Yeah, that's. Yeah, very this nice. is light. So it's a. No, it's, this is a '60s type strat. I'm going to say, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, I know it Six, has got a maple neck. But '62. So what's the deal there? '62 strat maple neck, though. Yeah. Well, I guess it's kind of, um, you know, going back to the days where people would s swap necks around and. You know, like the the famous Lenny Strat is a '60s Strat with a uh, with a maple neck that was put on there as well. Mm. So it's so, a nice burst. Yeah. So this is a. Um, yeah, it's interesting as well because it's got no skunk stripe. So this one's got a uh, fingerboard. So it's maple fingerboard as well. Well, so so the neck is like a '60s Strat. Yeah. Six zero, not '60s. Yeah. Uh, a, co a compound radius as well, seven and a quarter to nine and a half, and it's a '60s style oval C. Uh, and the pickups bone tone bone tone pickups and we've got some is this something half unique blender half yeah blender? half blender wiring there as well so does that so blend that, in the neck pickup yeah. to any of the bottom configurations yeah the half blender it only works in because generally what would happen with the full blender when you adjust this one to adding the 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 other pickup it would then when you flick up to there you're in the same you've got the same sound going on okay so what the half blender does it only affects one position so this bottom tone control you can turn it into that tele pickup sort of sound so you get the front and the back on and then, you can and then when you go back up to there it oh, doesn't good. affect that because it basically just becomes almost like a second volume for that for mm. that pickup so that's with good. the bone tone pickups what were they uh, what frets were they 6105 oh i, I should have found that out shouldn't i Frets, where's the frets? 6105, yeah, so narrow, narrow tall frets. I love that gold hardware. Yeah, looks really cool. Lovely and light as well. So these, so far, and a lot of the last batch as well, were all limited edition. Well, these, so were, they say, these were so. all reorders from um, a custom shop online event that they had, um, I think it was uh, at the end of last year, uh, and we just did some reorders basically, because they were okay. all, we originally got some of the guitars from the event which we've had already and sold but you could do reorders for the ones that you didn't sell so but they're only available to order at that particular time so yeah. if this one sells you can't get another one ah, okay I mean, you could I dare say you can always spec you know a guitar so that's they're very very pretty similar. much one of ones then even though yeah. it's taken from a previous spec yeah it's still going to be different anyway isn't it so yeah so yeah the name limited no does ring same, true they, so. excellent Oh, let's pop the guitar. Serial number first. Yeah, serial number is CZ five five three four four five. Nice. Who's playing guitar out there? So it's very noisy though, isn't it? You think this is? But that's uh, that's the way it goes. It is. Right. What we got next? Have I messed up the order? I don't think, no? well, okay. I'll, I'll let you oh, spec this okay. one if I may, because oh. you're better at this than I. And yeah, I'd like to hold so this. So that's the uh, 
looks like that's the bro from the last one. That's great. Was so that the gold foam? hardware. Seafoam uh, green? I think, ooh, is it seafoam or surf? Seaf faded aged seafoam green, apparently. Okay. Which def definitely makes it look a little bit more surfy. Gold hardware again. Yeah, so the same spec as the last one. So 60 style oval C, 7.25 to 9.5 compound radius uh, with a bone tone pickups and that half blender system on it as well. So uh, forgive the question, where's the 62 coming in then? So we've well, got a 60 the, neck. Yeah, well, it's um, where the... Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, the specs between or? a 60 and a 62 aren't a million miles away. It's when you go 62 to 63 when you start getting the, um, the round lamb uh, fingerboard Pop instead of the there. slab board. Um, That's a great looking guitar. It looks a little bit like uh, Greg Cock had one of those yeah. custom green strats, didn't he? Yeah, no, it's a great looking guitar. And well, um, do you plan to do um, videos of these today or, or are they coming later in the week? I'm sure we'll be getting them done very oh, soon. Yeah. Maybe even you, you'll be doing a few, I don't know um, <sighs> if there's anything super special in there, but yeah. that's, that's a great looking guitar. Mm. So this one is CZ552687. Excellent. Beautiful. I like, they've all got character, but they're not sort well, of They've overblown. all been something um, you know, outside of the, uh, the ordinary, isn't it? It's not just been sunburst and Olympic yeah. white and yeah. butterscotch tellies, which is probably what's going to happen now. Well, yeah, so we're back to tweed. And um, as I've proven, I've literally no idea oh, what's yeah. inside. There we go. Oh, I like this theme that's developing here. Some punchy heavyweight tellies here. Do you want me to do some speckings? If you don't mind. I'll do the speckings. You're, you're you good do the at holding. This. So what we're we looking at here color wise, because that's sort of familiar, but also. So this one different. is aged copper. So again, this is uh, another guitar in that same range as the ones that we had earlier with that candy tangerine yeah. and the Lake Placid blue one. So some I'll just give back. you a rough uh, overview of the specs again. So hand wound black guard pickups, ash body, uh, riff saw maple neck, 6105 frets and a 9.5 radius with that lovely uh, 56V neck profile. Yeah, it's a really nice neck. That looks like one of those guitars that you see on Instagram where one of the vintage collectors have found, you know, uh, an old guitar in someone's closet or something like that, doesn't it? It looks that really cool custom colour. A little bit less of a relic on this one, only yeah. slightly, just I'm noticing yeah. in the sort of hot points. And again, is it just a relic? There's yeah, no specific... it's just a standard relic, but I think they, on a lot of these metallic finishes, they'll purposely try and show a little bit of that undercoat there as well. Yeah, um, I really like these a lot. In fact, you may have seen recently our top five of last month video, and the Sherwood Green version of this guitar made the cut for last month. So yeah. I imagine this, this batch is going to be really nice. There's going to be a few well. in there. So I see a number of that one is R112202. Excellent. Yeah, I like that a lot. I still, I don't know, that champagne red one was, that was still good. the... The, or the orange one. The orange, forgive me. Still the favorite so far. Silly Billy. Right, next up. Shall I do some specking? Yeah, go on then. like. Go on then. Ooh, nice. That's a bit different. So this one looks like it is aged natural. This pro again, I think this might be a similar spec to what we've been seeing so far, but in a more heavy relic finish. It's definitely so, got um, that V kind of profile on there. Yeah, so another 51 telly heavy relic yeah. this time, fairly obviously. Age natural. Uh, now the neck on this one, they say, is like 51 no caster profile. So does it feel bigger than that last? No. Last guitar you it had? Is, um, the, the, the next shape is the 1056V, but the, it starts out as on their order form as a no-caster, oh, gotcha, okay. basically. So, so they shape it Yeah, they, it starts, starts, it would, would have originally been spec'd at that one, but then that is the actual profile there. So it is that V profile, so. Okay, so pretty much the same spec as before then. Yeah. Nine and a half inch radius, Fat 50s tele pickups. No, that Fat 50s wiring with hand wound black guards. I'll do the uh, specs next time. What do I do this for? This is confusing, but at least we understand it between us. What does it feel like? It feels uh, like the last one, but more, more relic -y. All right. Uh, and the no serial number of this one is R112362. I don't think, I've never seen a finish like that before no. from then. No, let's plop it up there for a little bit. And get a nice, nice uh, view of it. Got first some really black guard cool. as well, right? All the others were. 
white uh, guarded, I think. I think they were, yeah. So it's got that really nice uh, grain structure going on there, mm. here and up there as well, which you don't always obviously see on the, um, you know, like that orange one, you can see a bit of that grain coming through, so you can see how thin it is, but mm. you know, it's got that real kind of a Springsteen and Keith type sort of vibe, hasn't it? Springsteen. Springsteen. Luke's eyes lit up Spring there. Springo. Felt them. Excellent. All right, not bad. Not bad selection did I do, so far. Did I do serial number? I think you did. I think, I'm going to give it anyway. Good measure. Yeah, R112362. Okay. okay. Fairly unique guitar, so it's going to be yeah. pretty easy to spot on the website anyway. Just as a brief interim here, do we have any Instagram questions? Nothing really. Yeah, we have idea. got. Excellent. We have got. Um, we have got one guitar here that we're going to have to absolutely berate and destroy oh, why because is that it's then? one of our um, employees, Dean. It's uh, his own custom order. So has, has he already got, paid for it? He's already paid for it. Yeah, okay, so, so you can. So we've got it. to pretend to be really mean about it. And it's not Yikes, this one. It's not that one. No. I like this he one. Though. He wouldn't spec anything this cool. <laughs> it's not quite that brave. No. That's got definite Billy Gibbons Vegas yeah. vibes to it. Right, so this one is a 55 telly. Okay. Hand-wound Texas telly pickups, and it's in aged gold sparkle. It's we had that nice. really nice thin line one. Um, yes. With the, like the black herringbone trim around it and stuff. That was a really cool looking telly recently. Uh, so the neck profile on this one is a 54 U-shaped profile. Yeah, it feels much rounder. Yeah, is it, it's not quite as big as a regular no-caster though, is it? Not no, quite as it, big. it's That's wide on the sides and then quite flat at the back. Yeah. Um, really nice, really comfortable. It's kind of, it's got that no-caster feel, but it's not, yeah, doesn't cripple you. Yeah, that's my feel, yeah. Uh, so that you is that uh, Maple Rift Saw, 9.5 radius, 6105 frets. Um, I don't think there's anything else on there that's particularly uh, stands out to make it any more different than a regular 50s type telly. Just a really cool looking yeah. telly that we know is gonna sound the business as yeah. well. And probably be gone by the time this is on YouTube. Hopefully. Anyway. Any, any guesses as to what's gonna be the first to go yet? Um, Apart from Dean's guitar, of course. Yeah, Dean's gonna be asking for a refund. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have named him. Yeah. No, no, please, please, everybody uh, email him with as much abuse as possible. <laughs> Well, if you've made it this far into the video, anyway, just comment the word Dean down below. Dean. Just to let us know you're still here. Oh, nice. yeah. Are we just into Sherwood? They're getting Is classier Sherwood and classier. Territory? Go on, um, give us a little look. I'm, I'm not gonna say anything because it's probably gonna be wrong, so I'll let you mm. confirm it first, but it's definitely green. Faded aged Sherwood green metallic, lovely. So that is a 60 telly journeyman finish, okay. hand wound 58 telly pickups, 9.5 radius with a 60s oval C neck profile and 6105 frets. Very that one's a older body. Very dark rosewood on the board yeah. as well. And just just to satisfy my own confusion here, journeyman and closet classic are they completely different relicking processes? I, or well, are they I think similar? closet classic basically. Uh, it's almost been retired and they've improved it with the journeyman relic finish because okay. what you would see a lot of the time on the closet classic finishes that would almost look really kind of almost shiny but you, then you'd have one area that's really had that like heat treatment done to it so you've got lots of lacquer checking and crazing on there but this is more consistent throughout they've just doled off the uh, the hardware a little bit and also you just get a few very very small uh, kind of, of tiny little dings but yeah when you look at a standard relic next to it you're not look you don't get any arm wear or any other way around here that you get on the standard relic finishes okay so yeah it, it's more consistent to a well cared for vintage guitar i would say yes okay thank you for that no appreciate problems. that i'm sure other people out yeah. there do too as well yeah well it can be you know really confusing and if you're looking at uh specking out a, a guitar then please uh, give us a call or email any of our guys can uh, take you through any of this stuff. Just so. don't ask Dean. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Don't ask Dean or don't ask you. <laughs> well, me too. No one will trust Dean's opinion when they see his guitar. <laughs> I haven't I seen it yet, so no, I... No, it, it I, might be. I have actually seen it. He couldn't wait for the unboxing video. It might be my favorite, I don't know. It might be. So what have we got here? 
shell Passive pink. Shell pink. You got that. You got that one right. Bit of a heavier relic this time. Yeah. So for anyone that saw our last unboxing video uh, from a couple of weeks ago, this is uh, another guitar from those 59 strats that we had. So these have got hand wound Texas special pickups. I know, okay. um, I th I'm sure I walked into the room the other day when you was doing some of the uh, custom shop ones and there was one that you'd remarked on that you thought sounded really good. And I think sometimes Texas specials get a bit of a bad rap uh, you know, because they can be a little bit hotter, but through the right amp with some gain, they do still sound absolutely killer. And it's not the same pickup, is it? That no, you get no, in the, in the no, Mexican the Fenders or no, something. It's no. a different. Um, it's a hand wound pickup, hand -wound, and, they, yeah. and I do think they've done some revisions to the pickups over the years because they sound much better than how I can ever remember them sounding. Yeah, yeah. Nice dark rosewood again. Yeah. And I learned fairly recently that this is something that you can actually select for yourself, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the time the guitars do come through with pretty dark rows of fingerboards, but if you're, if you're specking a guitar out and you just want to be sure, it's the same with the body um, uh, choice for weight as well. Like you can choose weight. a lighter weight body and also a darker fingerboard. But the cost, you know, it's, it's a, bit of, a bit of a bump up, but it just means that basically someone is actually going and picking you're right. paying for the time, you know, the wood doesn't cost any more. Yeah. It just, you know, it's just more time. You just know to exactly what it. you're getting. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, if you're specking out your dream guitar and you want to be sure that it's not going to be super heavy or have yeah. a light looking fretboard, then that's the way to go. Um, so 9.5 radius, 6100 jumbo frets and a 60 style oval C neck profile. Really nice. That looks really classy. Again, Gives no... the seal number. Where are we? Uh, CZ553. 118. Nice looking guitar. It is, yeah. Just yeah, really classy. Single ply guard as well, it looks, that looks well. Yeah. Yes. I think we've been waiting to see stuff like this from Fender for a, a little while. Like there, there's been some really nice stuff come through the past couple of years, but... Um, I like to uh, get stuck into these sort kind of, back of to um, basics a bit more. custom events, guitars, because it's, it's always a nice opportunity to get some stuff that I wouldn't normally spec out. Yeah. You know, it's... Uh, yeah some different kind of um, uh, approaches to, you know, aging and things like that. So, yeah, there we go. So, got a I bit can, distracted there, yeah, in that case. that's another beauty. That's so I reckon great. that's another one. Has that got that V feeling profile? Yeah, it does, and it's got the flat yeah. knob, so I'm yeah. So it's again, yeah, it's another one of those uh, 51 tellies. So you've got the hand-wound black guard pickups. This finish is called Natural Blonde. So I guess it's somewhere in between the two, not quite as It's lighter yellowed. than a butterscotch. Yeah, like but a really faded one, isn't it? Yeah, um, very grainy as well. Yeah, so the yeah, hand-wound blackguard pickups, 9.5 radius and a 10 to 56. Well, the October 56, as it's called, V profile. Yeah, very, very good. And again, pretty lightweight. They've all been pretty light, actually, yeah. so far. Yeah, it's been a nice um, selection here. So very well chosen. Uh, seal number R108951. Yep, excellent. That is a great looking guitar. I'm excited. I know something's really? coming. I don't know what it is yet. Yeah, what? Being a shocker. I know something exciting is coming. Oh, oh, popped open. Okay, could it be this one? No, because it's. I uh, know his one's in a in a brown case. Okay, this one is going to be a good guitar. There we go, another nice. copper type thing. Let's have a look. I think we're going to be in that 51 telly realm again. So the previous copper guitar, was that the 54 that we saw or was that another? No, that was the gold sparkle one. So this one is, oh no, this, yeah, so this is actually uh, a 55 telly. So the same ah. as that gold sparkle one. So, okay. so it's another copper one, but it is, uh, it's the one with the, um, that larger 54U neck shape. Yeah, yeah. 9.5 radius and 6105s again. Um, and when we say larger again, it's not, it's not baseball batty. It's no, not super fat, no. but I it's, mean, it's rounder. The, tra the traditional no caster shape's probably about as big as you'd ever want to go yeah. on. If that's the 10, then that's probably eight or nine. Eight and a half, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really, really nice though. And I think even those 51 necks, people sort of write them off and maybe they shouldn't because they're still really comfortable. Yeah, I think if, you, you know, if you're, if you're a, um, someone that plays rhythm in a band or you, know, you don't play necessarily a lot of lead stuff, you know, if you're looking for a really good meaty sounding guitar yeah. or you're an acoustic guitar player looking for, a, for a, 
a guitar to play on stage, a nice electric, a telly with a big neck is always a, a good option. Yes. Serial number? Where is it on the back this time? CZ555033. Very nice. And of course with these ones you get the, the different steel saddles as well, which does change the tone a little bit as well. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit less kind of um, brash. You know what I mean? Yeah, than the brass. Okay. A few more to go. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Lovely. Hardtail. Oh, excellent. Let's have a look at the back of the neck on that as well. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Got a really nice figured neck on that as well. Oh, yes, it does. So another... Uh, 59? Uh, no. Let's have a look. Could no, be. I'm learning slowly. 61. Okay, yeah. Three-ply guard. And this is on the pink end of the Fiesta yeah. spectrum? Yeah. So um, it's, it's actually uh, faded and aged. Fiesta right. red. Again, so. really good. Really nice. Hard tail. It looks so a bit like the Gary Moore. Yeah. 61. Yeah, starting to see a lot of hard tails again recently. We haven't done any for years, but... Now they've come along all of a sudden. So I think they're wonderful, yeah. These are the uh, hand-wound 60 slash 63 strap pickups, oval C neck profile, 9.5 radius with 6105 frets. Again, you know, if you're if you're a rhythm guy, you know, looking for yeah. no fuss, just want a really good tone, or even if you know you are an, uh, you know an advanced electric player and you don't want the hassles of the tram and using different tunings. Yeah, I've got to say I'm starting to prefer these because. You can lay into it like you can a telly, yeah. But you get all the tones of a strat. Yeah. So it's, I think they're a little got a little bit less sort of um, high end than a traditional yeah um, strat, but perhaps a little bit less low end as well. So it's a little bit of a trade off, but certainly if you just plugged it in and go, yeah, that's going to be a great strat sound straight so away. Take a shot a bit there, sorry. Yeah, great looking guitar. They've all just been fantastic, and this relic as well is yeah, nice. That's the journeyman one again. Yeah. So yeah, again, think, like you said, just little bits of the, the chips here and there but looks like you would expect. Nice dark that could board. be hanging yeah. up in a vintage guitar shop. Mm. Very nice, give us a serial. CZ553127. Very good. Yeah, that's nice. Sorry for the American viewers for not saying CZ. CZ, CZ peasy mate. All right. All right, here we go. Is this the one? Oh no, I don't think it it's is. It's brown. But is it the proverbial? No. Nope. That's it's another. Nice. I think that is another 59 strap. So, do you want to uh, attempt a bit of speckage? <laughs> attempt to read. Have another go. All right. Shut up. I'll yeah, 59, the, uh, 59 guitar strap. Techniques chord. Um, what on earth does that mean? Faded, okay, faded and aged Lake Placid Blue. Yep. Just says Falp. B. Falp. Uh, and then, okay, 60 style oval C neck. Where's the radius? Nine and a half inch radius and... Hand wound Texas Special pickups again. Oh yes, it's right there, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Three hand wound Texas Specials. Strat Vintage Mod Wiring number two. Yeah, so that's got the... Um, so you can take the tone down on the bridge pickup and it's also got treble bleed. Okay. Well. Other than that... I mean, a tone saver. From my like extensive it. pouring through these notes, it yeah. looks pretty standard. Pretty standard, me? yeah. 59, so you've got that transition year where it was, uh, they changed the rosewood fingerboard but still had the uh, single ply pick guard. There you go. Jimmy Page had a strat, I believe. It looked did. a little bit like that. Yeah, it was at the, on the uh, Donington gig, weren't it? I've seen him. One of those, or Nebworth or something. Yeah, but um, that's just a great looking. It's just so clean, mm. and that's something you don't always see from from Fender's custom shop recently. And a lot of people like that stuff, like the finish over finish and all those guitars, but I just love those. It's that... the complete opposite of Dean's guitar. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see yeah. it. Then. Yeah. Really okay. dark rose of board again, just yeah. worth pointing out. But uh, serial number, almost forgot. CZ554299. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Okay. That one. Yeah. Okay. We'll leave, we'll leave it till the end. Aiden's just kindly told me which one's Dean's guitar. <laughs> I feel a bit mean because I, I don't even know I what know, it is, but, but, but it's, it's just it's just bad. It's got to be done. It? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's good. Is that that's the a chocolate? Nice wide, wide burst. Check that one out. Oh, that's lovely. 
So EJ, a bit of a brand, yeah. all those ones that uh, Jobo yeah. plays. Yeah, wide fade chocolate two-tone sunburst. So this is a limited edition 57 strap journeyman, hand wound fat 50s pickups, which again, are the pickups you said you really liked earlier. Yeah. Uh, 57 style soft V neck profile, 6105 frets, quarter sawn maple neck, uh, 9.5 radius, all, all the good stuff. Perfect, it's got a busted high so, E string, but. Oh, is it? But oh, that's, uh, that's no problem, it's no problem. It's gonna happen to whoever plays it we'll first We'll throw anyway. one in. <laughs> but yeah, you can really see the, um, check out the burst on the back as well. Look at that. Mm. Very nice. Very clean as well, but sorry, mm. what was the state well, of finishing uh, wide, for that? Wide fade chocolate two-tone sunburst. But no, so it's just no re particular relic? Uh, journeyman, I think that was. Okay. Yeah, Journeyman. So it's you can see it's just really wide, as, as, as it's called, that wide burst. So you get that normally on the standard uh, two-tone burst, it would kind of stop there, the black. Mm. But it's it's got that wider burst, and it's also less of a transition, I guess, between black and then the lighter colour. They've It's more of like a chocolatey brown finish around yeah. the edge. Yeah. It's very handsome. Yeah. Seal say. number CZ553001. Yeah. That's a good one. And again, pretty light, so I would say that's probably going to have a good deal of sustain mm. to it, but I'm not going to play it yet. So much sustain, it broke the top of it. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Just a couple more. Two to go. That's not it, is it? No. All right. We're going we're gonna to leave Dean's one till last. Okay. We're only Thank you. At some abuse. Only because he's been driving me mad for the last year, we're wondering when <laughs> it's going to come. Oh, we've got another uh, one of our um, 60s style maple jobs. Yes. Gold Except hardware. That, so this looks like Daphne this time? Da that's got to be Daphne. Blue, by the blue. way. Daphne blue. blue. Yeah, Daphne blue. It. So hand wound bone tone pickups, all the body, oval C neck profile, the compound radius, which is 7.25 to 9.5. And gold hardware again. Yep. Lovely. A little bit of a heavier relic going on this time. Yes. And there's this, a, this is cool kind of. I don't know if this will come across, but there's nice dirtying almost of the blue. It, it's kind of got like some. Yeah, it's like a some discoloration, muck. isn't it? It's not actual muck, but it looks, um, you know, like this has been played, which may or may not be your thing. We know this, but let us know either way in the Do comments. Do people not like relics? Well, some people don't. And no. the good thing is you've got choice. They should leave a comment, shouldn't they? Maybe you should, yeah. If you've never. If you're a relic comment virgin, this is the time to change that. No, either don't way, worry, they've told us already. <laughs> it's just good to know because obviously we all order so many guitars, well, you order so many guitars of differing specs. And we obviously never listen, do we? We happen to get a lot of relics, but there is something for everybody. So if it's not your thing, then you do get the option to, to have a nice, clean, pristine guitar. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, specs. Right. Well, yeah, well, we've already done it, but the what, seal number is CZ553446. Yeah. So, yeah, so that is a 62 strap with a maple neck. The great confuser. Yeah. Here we go. Right. Is that everything? Yep. Nothing else. To Nothing else. No other orders no other of guitars. business. Oh no, there is. There's one more. So this is the one. This is our Dean's uh, custom guitar that he's just uh, he's ordered himself. He's driven driven me absolutely mental for the last year, asking when it's going to arrive, and um, I think he was a bit scared. He saw a couple of other. Um, uh, super heavy relic finished guitars that he really didn't like recently. So, oh. um, what's the official colour of this? Uh, Olympic white over charcoal frost metallic. Yeah. Olympic white over charcoal frost metallic. Yeah. Say. That's what happens when you let someone loose with the uh, the configurator form. Are we ready? Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> there it is. No, it is. Do you know what? I cool. don't. I don't hate it. No. Just despise it. No, no, no. I. I I quite like it, actually. What about it do you like? Oh, I don't need to get into that. I just quite like the guitar. I actually, no, I do. I no, like it the, looks cool. I like that bit of the colour. Yeah, but not the white bit. <laughs> Maybe not the white bit. So, no, this is really this dark is, neck. Yeah, it's a roasted maple, uh, well, bird's eye maple neck. I um, don't know what he's got a black nut on it for. I don't know what he's done that for. So did he say so? Is okay. it modelled after anything particular, did he say, or, or just? No, I think he was just, just wanted to get himself a custom shop and wanted a, a nice colour over colour finish, but I think that looks good. But you know what? It takes something to order that. Yeah. And I think 
I think he should be very proud of himself. He yeah. can play it with pride. He should be happy that he's got it at trade <laughs> price. <laughs> right, so this one has got um, strung uh, seven to, to 16 gauge strings. <laughs> no, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, not go down that route. Do you um, I may? I'll just have a tinkle. Have a little look. So it's an all the body, hand wound 60 slash 63 strap pickups, uh, 9.5 to 12 inch compound radius, uh, maple roasted bird's eye, uh, big big frets yeah they are uh, 6100s very nice and light and actually I can kind of tell just uh, it sounds silly of course but just by feeling it you can tell it's a resonant guitar because of the weight I guess and the neck's very comfortable birds are, I don't know why I'm trying to sell this to anybody yeah but well, just if shows you wanna, what if can you be done if you want to do a reorder it can happen yeah is Dean commenting no bless him no, I, it I, is nice. That is and, a cool um, guitar. It's different. May, maybe Dean will let us uh, plug it in later and see how it sounds. Yeah, yeah. I think it looks great, actually. Well, again, if you've made it this far into the video, comment Dean down below in the comments just to let him know that you've made it this far and you appreciate his guitar one way or the other, as I think we all do. It's pretty cool. Nice. Well, that brings us to, uh, good to, way to end. Close. a good way to end. So, uh, like always, thanks for watching. Yes. We'll uh, try and get these up on the website as soon as we can. We'll get some videos done of them as well. Um, but yeah, no, thanks as always, and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.